How do you go, Hope you're going good. Weekly walkabout time at the collector. Got some cool stuff in the auction this week. I really like this little sterling silver hallmarked uh, bookmark. Little novelty one. Really nice. Some cool men's watches. Little lost pottery candlesticks. Silver spoons. Opera glasses. Got a little lot of cards. Don Bradman. Other sort of cricket sporting. Looks like Bon Scott or someone singing as well. Some nice little bits in the jewellery cabinet, but not much in the jewellery cabinet. Look, that shelf's empty, that shelf's empty. We've got plenty of other shit though. Got a lot of occasional furniture, got nice old pairs adverts framed up. Nice little Victorian sort of gents chair and a ladies chair there. Big box of coins, currency, it's a nice little twin Schaefer pen set. Little clocks and things, watches, jewellery. This is cool, the Amazon's poster, movie poster, block mounted. Um, artwork by Boris Vallejo, really cool thing. Good little box of records. A nice big lot of EP and S. What else have we got? Good collection of magazines and ephemera. Some boxed carded Star Wars men. Some more good toys, table croquets, cool little set. There's a Mobo Doggin amongst here. And some other stuff as well. More Star Wars, all episode one sort of figures, books. Great big lot of footy stuff. One, two, three, four, five boxes, maybe six down underneath. All right. Big lot of boxes, chocolate boxes and stuff. Some cool clothes this week. Real sort of cool 1980s Letterman style jacket. Civilware, Vadim Civilware. And we've got that with some unusual sort of satin robe. Some band shirts, The Who, Faith No More, Riff Fist. This is a nice little sort of Japanese kimono. Cool old leather jacket. Group lot of clothing, sort of hippie stuff. Some cool old tracky tops. Uh, ice hockey top in amongst there. And just a cool little lot of men's sort of check print shirts. Little box of glass. DVDs, a light up barn, big lot of audio visual gear, China, other stuff, books, nice big lot of Australian pottery, some ephemera, cricket, sporting Olympics, big lot of Star Wars gear, about three or four boxes plus some other stuff in amongst, China, industrial light, oil lamp bases, Kids books and stuff, tools, One Direction stickers, yeah, a box full of them. And there's little novelty squirt cameras in there, packets and sort of little toys as well. Three boxes of DVDs, nice big collection of Coca-Cola stuff, cutlery and sort of kitchen alia, block mounted posters, Scarface, Escape from LA, bit of Snake Plissken. Big box of footy cards. It's nice, a funny little sort of sideboard with the lead light glazed windows. These are cool oil paintings. What was this lighthouse stand? Where was it? Williamstown or something? I think it was Williamstown. I think we got, we reckon we found out it got bloody knocked over. Where about? Jelly Brand. Yeah, it got knocked over by a boat or something in 1976. There you go, so these would have been painted prior to that. Kind of nice little paintings, they're all signed piece stone, don't know much about the artist. But just the subject's kind of cool. Alright, two boxes there of games and stuff. Old skateboard with some Christmas decorations. Uh, more footy gear, china and stuff. Nice collection of retro and other lamps. Pretty cool Ampol oil tin. It's a bit different with the quality super outboard motor oil sort of stickers. All the way around it. What else have we got? Materials, more sort of audio visual gear, train signs, big lot of pictures and prints. This is a cool little lot, little 1980s little table with a cool little white case, 1980s NEC TV. It's got the remote and all the instructions with it. Box of stamps, more materials and things. Big group lot of stuff down under the table, another group lot of stuff, more stuff, and there's some things. <laughs> Some cool kids' toys and gear in amongst here. Uh, what else?
else. Uh, lots of books. Funky Squad Annual. I always like Poncho. Couldn't talk because he copped a bullet in the tongue. <laughs> More books. Nice mixed lot. It's a cool lot of rubber stamps. More in the box there. All Agatha Christie books. Star Wars chess. Star Wars Monopoly. Wrestling videos or DVDs. Cap seller and other kids toys. Good little collection of tools. More mint carded Star Wars figures. Really like this mirror. Beautiful thing. With a little grotesque mask inlaid up the top there. Beautiful inlay around all the way around it. Lovely little sort of bob and turn spindles. This is cool. The walk, don't walk sign. Nice little set of three. Tessa. Little modular chairs. They're cute as well. A sort of arts and craftsy style. Little pine bedsides. This is a UV light box. There you go, so you put whatever you want underneath here. Came from an old wool, wool place or something like that, so they might have used it to, to look at the wool. This is a cool little rocking horse with a bit of sort of decoupage and stuff all over it. I think it's signed by the artist underneath, Adrian Briley. A little box of sort of army stuff, Air Force, books, cars, chunks, planes. Little shadow box is cute with a little mirror. Big lots of china and pottery and stuff. It's like a nice lot down the bottom there. A couple of bits of blush wearing amongst and some 30s Beswick. <clears throat> nice big lot of glass and china. More crystal, more china. Big lot of Stuart crystal. Rotel amp and some records. Some Star Wars gear. This is a cool little lot. Old Foster's and 4 and 20 pie boxes with a little Elisha Melbourne footy club dish. Some Benetton bags, padlocks, Coca-Cola bottles, wooden stuff. There you go. A light-up boar's head to go on the wall. It's pretty cool. Some nice paintings. Lovely little Arnold Holst. I like these. They're both signed C. O'Neill. Can't find anything about the artist. They look European. They can paint. I like this Dacre Smythe. I think he was a rear admiral in the Navy. He retired in his 70s and began painting. Good little thing, Murrumbidgee Summer, I think it's called. Big European school coloured etching, but the frame on it's an absolute cracker. And I kind of like this, a little naive Victorian watercolour. The locomotive train. Would have been painted about 1880, 1890. This big European school thing's quite nice as well, actually. The big gilt frame, it's signed lower left, but it's hard to make out the signature. Just well painted, nice big decorative oil. Right, what else have we got? Yolanta Yenavinicus or something like that, I think is her name. A couple of nice little bits, the speckled kettles. A little mixed lot of circa 1900, give or take pottery and glass. Star Wars guys. Nice little Stromberg Carlson 1950s clock radio. Unmade Peugeot model kit. A couple more box Star Wars men. 12 inch action figures. You got Chess and uh, Monopoly again. A couple of Princess Leas, Chinese Wise Men, with a lot of Australian pottery, Jacket, Silha, and the big green one. Uh, what else have we got? Motoring Ephemera, Telescopic Sight and some Scales, good little collection of records, a pair of steel cap Doc Martin boots, nice lot of Oz pottery, more Star Wars comic packs, they've got a comic in each one and two action figures. What else have we got? Big Noritake dinner set. A cool lot of board games, Starsky and Hutch and the Beverly Hillbillies and Snow White. Russian cameras, toys, police sort of badges and things. Footy signed by 1991 Hawthorne team. More cameras, a lot of blokey gear. Good lot of records, they're all Queen records, nice big group lot. Birthday party LP and a Sonic Youth 12 inch single. Pretty cool book, The Dimaxian World of Buckminster Fuller. It's all about sort of dihedral, sort of how to build your hippie house and stuff. Kind of cool designs for cars and things, but all using sort of modern technique and stuff. Cool thing. Kind of like this little bus. Use a ripper. You can even like put big things in the roof. Just pull the sunroof back and stick your bloody big stuff out of the top. I'd love to be doing house calls in one of them. Kind of like this soft toy mouse. There's something funny about him. Model kits. Footy guys, matchboxes, cool little Repco tune-up, 
wall mount sort of cabinet walking stick more Star Wars guys Wedge and Biggs yeah these are all World War 2 sort of fighter planes 172 scale ones nice sort of glass Geiger book over the back cool collection of soft toys Gizmo Humphrey and Fat Cat it's a nice lot of those pottery all painted by someone all signed Donna but kind of like that farmer guy kind of like this thing and the nudes they're unusual. Did a bit of research, couldn't find out much. I think one of them stayed at 96. Uh, so the mid century European ceramics. Uh, Royal Albert, Dalton, and some other nice bits. A couple of bits of uranium glass, manganese glass in that lot. Lego shop display. Nice set of hunting lithographs. Little box of toy cars and trucks. Some lamps. Big lot of marbles. Fishing gear, China, cool little lot of footy and the cards. This is a nice little lot, 1930s little crumb tray and brush there and the nice little Bakelite shades. More cool deco buses. A couple of albums, new orders, 12 inch single and the Craftwork LP. The Who, Mick Jagger. This is kind of a cool little coffee perk thing there with a warming, warming base. What else have we got? Lovely old Victorian writing box, bit of damage, but it's a lovely thing. Old holy bibble, it's got lovely coloured lithographic plates. It's a really nice big lot of vintage kitchen alia, which I think is going to be the what's it worth this week. Collection of Australian pottery, some interesting stuff in amongst. Uh, Oriental gear, another little lot of Oz pottery here, dishes. Nell McCready and some other ones. Nice big spoke dinner set. Bob Marley, Buffalo Soldier single. Usual pair of bookends. I think they're signed Frieda and dated 1947. Nice books, Australian art reference. Blamire Young, Ethel Carrick Fox. More nice Australian art reference. Three books on Donald Friend. Uh, Dalton Con Countess, part little tea set. What else have we got? Some nice Victorian ruby glass. Nice little lantern over the back and a trench art shell. Bon Jovi's New Jersey LP. Bloody bogans. Got some great stuff in the end cabinet. Love these boots. They're from Seven Creeks, which was an old um, homestead in Euroa. Nice little pine light box. A little foundry plaque there is a lovely thing. What else have we got? A uh, military belt with heaps of badges and stuff attached and some gaiters. And this thing's unusual. It's like a strong box type of thing. Details in the lead. Alexander Jack and Sons Agricultural Implement Makers. Mabel... Ayrshire. It's got a little sort of lock catch on the front here. Push that in and it should have, should open up, but it's Adam proof and I've only got one hand. Cool thing. Some doll. Um, some motor racing yearbooks. Nice little JW Roach watercolour. VHP review book. The Faber pencils in their point of sale box. That's a really nice little lot. A um, couple of nice little ginger beer bottles. This is lovely as well, this little Korean chest, little drawers and things. Really interesting old sort of telephone handset there, once again from Seven Creeks up in Euroa. Roba teapot, some Chinese pottery bowls, uranium glass, little Porsche Roadster car, nice little box, lovely bit of green glass, Ladro doves, Victorian glass. Italian glass, pair of the spelter figures are pretty amazing. Alright, this is a nice little blue topped ginger beer bottle. This is an interesting bit of English art pottery. Uh, heavy heads, pretty cool old blues album on the chess label. What else have we got? The Ford GT40, little Robert Langley pottery jug, which is a bit unusual. Uh, Victorian glass, it's got the lovely old staple repairs. Little Dalton horse, I'm guessing. Another nice uh, ginger beer, hot beer bottle. There you go. That'll do. You know me, I could keep talking shit for another half an hour. Going to be a good sale on Thursday night. We'll see you guys here.